Hello and welcome. You have tuned in to Headlines Now with me, Linda Hercules. Before we move into all the stories in detail, let's take a quick look at the top headlines. Onset of monsoons claims 20 lives in Tamil Nadu as the weather department forecasts more rains for the next 24 hours. RS2 Cable TV finally launches in Chennai with the aim to break the monopoly in the cable business. Congress leader Devijaya Singh in base against Arvind Kejriwal, calling him a self-serving ambiguous megalomaniac with scant regard for democracy. Anna Hazari's new team will comprise three new individuals known for integrity to take his anti-graph movement forward, says Kiran Bedi. Kingfisher is running into troubled waters as DGCA suspends the airline's flying license. Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh says that his government wants to use technology to curb dishonesty and bring transparency in governance. And in a shocking revelation, reports hold the Indian Olympic Association as having splurged more than 4 crore rupees during the London Olympics. News in uh, detail. The Meteorological Office has forecast more rains at most places in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry during the next 24 hours as the trough of low pressure over the southwest bay persists. Reports say that 20 people have died so far in rain-related incidents in the state during the last two days. Chief Minister Jayalalitha asserted that the government machinery was prepared to face any eventuality in the wake of the onset of the northeast monsoon. Ms. Jayalalitha, who reviewed the extent of damages caused by the rains, announced an immediate assistance of 2.5 lakh rupees each to the deceased families. Yesterday's trough of low pressure, which was extending off Sri Lanka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra coast, has moved westwards. And now extends from Kamarin area to Western Bay of Andhra coast across Gulf of Mannar and Park Straits. Because of this trough, it has rained at most places in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. The highest rainfall recorded so far is 26 cm in Tondi, followed by 20 cm in Tiruchandur and 17 cm in Manipur. As far as forecast for next 24 hours is concerned, it is likely to rain in most places in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. One or two places in Tam South Tamil Nadu and Ghat areas of North Interior Tamil Nadu may experience heavy to very heavy rainfall. Rest of the districts may experience heavy rainfall in one or two places. As far as Chennai city is concerned, it will be cloudy with few spells heavy in some areas. Staying with news from the state, the state run RSU Cable TV Corporation started beaming from Chennai with Tamil Nadu Chief Minister launching its operations through video conferencing. Launched with the aim to break the monopoly in the cable business, RSU Cable TV will offer a total of 155 channels in digital and analog modes as part of its bouquet. Already in vogue in the rest of the state, RSU Cable TV will charge a monthly subscription of 70 rupees for 100 channels and customers would have to pay separately for additional pay channels. Definitely, rupees Next to you, clarity, you can see the clarity of your call. There is also a new channel in New Channel. Discovery, History Channel. Discovery is also in History Channel. There is also a new channel in History Channel. So, if you want to see the DTH, you can see the cost of the cost. You can see the clarity of your digital. You can see the clarity of your call. So, this is a great deal with the government. Nikki, ama orang tuan tu Chennai ialah, anda arah sini kabel TV open menikah. Adalah, semuanya orang ramu ramu itu bagaikan. Yang ke area lalat mana baru maklumlah, ya po, naik dua ya po dapat sih kerana sunnah ni arah sini kabel TV, ya po hari ya po hari ramu awal kerja. Ama Nikki, open mana ramu sangat bersyukur. Arah sini kabel TV, Tamil orang ramu itu, nallah serapah yang ikut orang diri kerja. Adalah Chennai ini orang ama orang tuan tu yang ikut diri kerja. Adalah ramu ini ya po orang ada yang pengen baca kerja. Makluk ada dia channel ini korang dah katakan dia kerja macam ini orang orang pengen baca arah sini kabel TV, makluk beri dia orang orang pergi, apa orang 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 the Chief Minister also unveiled the new Solar Energy Policy 2012. The policy envisages achieving Ms. Jayalalitha's vision of developing the nation as a world leader in solar energy by establishing 3,000 megawatt by 2015 and to make it a people's movement on the lines of the rainwater harvesting program. Apart from encouraging indigenous solar manufacturing facilities in the state with necessary incentives, the policy aims at promoting research and development in the solar energy sector and hybrid systems, besides creating skilled manpower and jobs in a new industry. Moving on, reiterating that the Kodunkulam nuclear power plant was absolutely safe, Minister of State in the Prime Minister's office, Vinarayana Swami, said 
that the first unit of the 200,000 megawatt plant would go critical in the next 10 days. A seven-layer safety measure was put in place in the power plant, he said, once again allaying the fears of the locals. In the Anuvulayai Moodiya Vudan, in the Pathan Art Kalakul, criticality in the Solagandra, Adavadu, Anumun Valay Lerand, Minsar Urpati Kana, Ayat the Valley, Savadar Khan, Nadavadiki, Nanga Ledupo, Kuripaga, Nate Denam Nan, Yangurde, Anuturai Nodea, Adigari and Pesi Kundan, then Avergil, Solaganda Karatile, Naumber Iridi Ele. Minsar Agurpatiai RMB Kendra Uru Nela Yer Padum. Aviation regulator EDCA has suspended the flying license of Kingfisher Airlines for failing to come up with a viable financial revival plan. The Vijay Malaya promoted airline, which has not operated a single flight since the 1st of October, had been asked to explain by today why its license should not be suspended or cancelled. But its response to the show cause notice issued by the regulator was not satisfactory. The airline had asked for more time and a personal hearing but gave no details on a financial plan or operational plans, which was what the DGCA had asked for. Well, DGCA is uh, not satisfied about King Fisher's reply. He has concerns about safety and that's why he suspended it. Safety cannot be compromised. And if uh, their planes are not being serviced, if their engineers are on a strike, uh, their airworthy certificate is not there, DGC, they are not able to give a flight schedule to DGCA, what middle part do you want? Travelers, the passenger, उनके साथ खिलवाड़ करना चाहिए। वो खिलवाड़ कर रहा था। कितने नौजवानों का जहाँ खराब कर दिया उसने? ये कार्रवाई बहुत डिजिसियो के बहुत बाजिर है। और सस्पेंशन नहीं इसको बिल्कुल क्लोज करना चाहिए। A police team has been set up by the Kerala government to probe the hijack alarm in the Abu Dhabi Kochi Air India flight, even as a team of DGCO officials is set to arrive for the same. Airport sources have said that the team from Chennai led by its southern regional director will arrive and immediately start proceedings including taking the statement of pilot Rupali Bagmare of Air Express Flight 4422. The team would also question airport officials and staff present when the drama unfolded after passengers protested diversion of the Kochi bound flight to the Kerala capital and delay in arranging onward travel to Kochi. Based on the woman pilot's complaint, city police had registered a case against six identifiable passengers on board the flight. Back to national politics, Congress leader Dibgijay Singh has inveighed against Arvind Kejriwal without much restraint. His opinion about Mr. Kejriwal of a well-meaning crusader of public issues, he said, has now changed to a self-serving ambitious megalomaniac with scant regard for democracy. He said that he will pose a series of questions to Mr. Kejriwal, who has launched a political party this month with a putative agenda of cleansing government departments of corruption. Mr. Singh alleged in his note that Mr. Kejriwal had been asked to be appointed to the National Advisory Council headed by Sonia Gandhi, which serves as the powerful liaison group between civil society and the government. The Congress leader says that Mrs. Gandhi turned down his suggestion to include Mr. Kejriwal in that committee. Mr. Kejriwal has, however, denied the charges. Arvind Kejriwal rubbish Congress leader Dick Vijay Singh's claim that he had lobbied for an entry into UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi led NAC seven years ago, saying that he had never approached anyone. He also said that Dick Vijay Singh's letter describing him as a self-serving ambitious megalomaniac did not merit a response and that it only showed the Congress party is completely rattled and baffled. When contacted Swami Agnivesh, who allegedly accompanied him for the meeting, he said that he did not remember any such meeting that's said to have happened six to seven years ago. One uh, point is that he said that I wanted to go to NSC. This is absolutely wrong. I didn't have any interest in going to NSC. What is the power of NSC? And now there is no opportunity to serve a society. There is no opportunity to sit with Sonia Gandhi and get tea and drink tea. And there is no interest to sit with them and get tea and drink tea. बाकी सारी चिट्ठी में इधर उधर की बातें हैं तो मैं उनकी चिट्ठी का कुछ रिस्पॉन्ड करना 
इन सब के भ्रष्टाचार की तरफ कोई ध्यान ना जाए इसलिए ये सवाल उठाए जा रहे हैं और कौन उठा रहे हैं दिग्विजय सिंह उठा रहे हैं कौन दिग्विजय सिंह जो कभी अन्ना जी को आर का एजेंट बताते हैं कभी वो रॉबर्ट वाड्रा का बचाव करते हुए नजर आते हैं उनको रॉबर्ट वाड्रा का भ्रष्टाचार भ्रष्टाचार नहीं दिखता उनको नितिन गडकरी का भ्रष्टाचार भ्रष्टाचार नहीं दिखता उनको आदर्श का कॉमनवेल्थ का भ्रष्टाचार कोयला का उठाले का भ्रष्टाचार भ्रष्टाचार नहीं दिखता उनको कुछ नहीं दिखाई देता वो दिग्विजय सिंह उठा रहे हैं और कभी वो मैंने बताया अन्ना को लिस्ट से लेकर तमाम तरह के मुद्दे उठाते रहते हैं कुल कोशिश ये है कि मूल मुद्दे से जो भ्रष्टाचार का मुद्दा है उससे ध्यान भटके और ये सवालों के जवाब में उलझ जाए इन सारे सवालों के जवाब दिग्विजय सिंह जी की पार्टी की सरकार है केंद्र में उन्होंने तमाम तरह की हमारी जांच करके पहले से उनके सबके पास में है कोई नया सवाल ऐसा नहीं है खुद ही मुजरिम खुद ही मुकबिर खुद ही मुनसिफ ये नई कानूनी परंपरा इस मुल्क में ईजाद की जा रही है तो इसलिए जो दोहरे मापदंड है दोहरा चेहरा है दोहरा चरित्र है दोहरा चाल चलन है उसकी जो असलियत है वो मुल्क के सामने आ रही है आज जो देश में चुनौती है वो भ्रष्टाचार एक बहुत ही गंभीर चुनौती है उस गंभीर चुनौती को नॉन सीरियस तरीके से पेश करना और पेश करके आधी अधूरी जानकारी के बाद खुद ही पीछे हट जाना ये अपने आप में इस बात का सबूत है कि वो बहुत ही सतही स्तर पर बहुत ही छोटे स्तर पर राजनीतिक विषाद पर खेल खेलना चाहते हैं जहां तक कांग्रेस पार्टी का सवाल है कांग्रेस पार्टी को ये चीजें सूट करती हैं क्योंकि हल्का आरोप झूठा आरोप और साथ ही साथ जो है वो स्वीपिंग स्टेटमेंट इस तरह के स्टेटमेंट उनके करप्शन के जो उनके एक के बाद एक कोयले के कुएं से करप्शन के कंकाल निकल रहे हैं उन कंकालों को वो सूट कर रहा है Taking the battle against Union Law Minister Salman Khurshid a step further, India Against Corruption said that it would be coming out with more documentary evidence against the Congress leader on the 1st of November at Farooq Abad in Uttar Pradesh. Slated to hold a demonstration led by politician activist Arvind Kejriwal at the parliamentary constituency of Mr. Khurshid, the activist said that they would be putting out a real list of beneficiaries from the Dr. Zakir Hussain Trust. managed by the law minister and his family the trust has been in the center of a storm over allegations of graft after severing ties with india against corruption activist and uh, arvind kejriwal over the formation of a political party veteran anti corruption activist anna hazari decided to recast his core team that was disbanded a month ago anna's close aide and former ips officer kiran bedi has said that the activist new team will comprise individuals known for integrity to take his anti-graft movement forward she also named three such individuals whom anna may approach to be part of his new court committee she added that anna will convene the first core meeting of the new panel on the 24th and 25th of november the three are former army chief general vk singh who had raised his voice against corruption throughout his tenure former uttar pradesh director general of police prakash singh who filed a public interest litigation seeking police reforms rid the service from political interference and got the order passed and buri lal who enjoys the confidence of the supreme court for hearing independent committees to examine social issues as a friend for the court anna has very clear plans of the movement ahead he is now expanding his core group and including people who are institutions by themselves who are known to be institutions by themselves whether they were civil servants whether in the corporate world within the world of creativity so it's it's a very inclusive core group anna is looking at those kinds of individuals or institutions by themselves who are probably one call away from powers that be but known for their non partisanship known for their integrity monies will follow on the other side of a short break stay with us